I'm Peter Matthews, and I approve this message. It's becoming increasingly a two-class society, the 1% and the 99%. The few at the very top have become more greedy and greedier. They want to export our jobs for higher profits. They don't care about keeping work here where it can help the middle class. We're basically losing it, and the politicians have been helping these big corporations take our jobs overseas. In the last several years, the top 1% captured 70% of the new income generated. Can you believe that? Also, the top 10% of the population owns or controls 90% of the wealth of America right now. The average CEO, that's the highest paid person in America, was making 40 times the income of the average worker back in 1980. Today, it's 400 to one. The average CEO is making 400 times the income of the average worker. It's time to turn America around, to bring the middle class back, and to give people here good, high-paying jobs so they can live the American dream. Buy their home, raise their family, have children go on to college, and live better than their parents did. Let's talk about Balcon, a company which I visited today. Balcon is creating 21st century jobs with high technology, green technology, producing electric trucks and cars and buses and tractors that could be sold not just to China and India like they're doing, but we can keep those jobs right here, selling those products for export and also for our own country right here, where cities here could buy the electric buses, put them on the road and get people to work. There is a major crisis in this country when it comes to manufacturing and the lack thereof especially with cutting-edge technology, because our government refuses to take an active role in supporting business, especially manufacturing and high-tech business that could export products that we can sell in the 21st century. On the other hand, the Chinese government and the Indian government are putting money into capital. For example, in China, there's a billion-dollar contract that's been awarded to one company to produce, say, computers or robots. The Chinese central bank will lend that company money right away, capital, so they can start the process of producing this product and then sell the products around the world because the Chinese government also helps to promote it around the world. What the U.S. government needs to do to promote high technology jobs in this country, the government has to provide capital for these companies and also create regulations that would more or less force these products onto the market here and throughout the world. KTLK, AM 1150, it is your voice. I'm David Cruz. Thank you for being here. Professor Peter Matthews. Great to be our here. Our political analyst extraordinary. Thank you for being here today. Always good to be with you, David Cruz. What's that? I've had the privilege of partnering with David Cruz to set up a new show called Head On, where we're going to deal with the issues head on. We're not going to mince words. I believe right now the playing field is totally uneven. An equal opportunity has been taken away from our young people, from the middle class. But we got to have government come in and regulate once again and provide opportunity. We're going to talk about the truth, about how we can rebuild America and the American dream and bring new 21st century technology that will create export jobs for the middle class.